um, my cell phone is on the landscape. I don't know how I'm supposed to edit this. I'll, I'll install a video editor later. So, ang ayo ko lang sa, sa cell phone siguro is because parang hindi ko alam kung saan titingin. Doing. Okay, what is more easy? Hello mga kawam! Kumusta kayo? This is Jean Lubao again, the working mom at home. So today is a Saturday and I am trying my cell phone camera. Let's see if this is better than the my 5-year-old Copic Sony point-and-shoot camera. So I know I tried it and it doesn't have a 1080p um, video. So yeah, it was a bit clunky a while ago. And I also, for the first three videos, I tried my laptop video and it's pixelated. I'm sorry, it's kind of noisy outside. It's a Saturday and everyone is here. So, what is this vlog all about? So, if you're new here, as I am new in my own channel, so this is all about um, the life of a working mom. That's me. Um, and I'll also be sharing some tips on how you get to get started working at home and um and what else yeah aside from i'm sharing you my my what's going on with my day-to-day -day life as a working mom i'm also going to give you some tips on how i work at home how to get started and all that and basically that's that's what i'm going to share in my channel of course as i was able to to you know start the making videos i'll have more content and if you want to ask more about how to start working online please please comment below and subscribe to this channel and um like the video if you like it so yun. today's topic is all about how to focus working online while you're at home because a home environment is really hard to um, manage because it's hard to focus because if you notice, when you're at home, you think you're at home, you're just doing what you're doing. Or even if you're at home, you're just explaining over and over that you're at home. Um, hindi talaga treated as work kung ano man yung ginagawa mo sa bahay. Um, meron pa rin talagang bisita na biglang darating, o kaya utusan ka talaga, o kaya ikaw na mismo, makikita mo magulo yung paligid mo, or meron kulang na groceries, ganun. Lalabas ka at lalabas for events. So that's why, it's kinda hard to focus, unlike when office base ka, pag pupunta ka doon, wala talagang i-store po sa'yo na bisita or what, maliban sa may security guard na magbabantay. <laughs> Hindi ba sa basta papapasukin doon um, sa office nyo, kung nag-office ka. And that's the place for work. While home is certainly is not a place for work. It's a home. So, paano ba magtrabaho on, at home? So, paano makapag-focus? So, that's what I'm going to share. So again, if you have some more questions, comment below, and I'll 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 create a video for that. Uh, may tanong kaya. Okay, okay. Uh, so first, when so that you'll be able to work at home, first is that uh, para makapag-focus ka, you need to find your work trigger. Pag sinabi natin work trigger. Kasi, we're pretty occupied at home kasi, no? Maraming pwede kang gawin, marami kang concerns in life. So, kailangan makapag-find ka ng trigger sa sarili mo na sa, nasasabi mo sa isip mo na, oh, work mode na ako. So, usually, yung trigger ng iba is nilinisin nila yung table nila and then sit na sila and then work. So, kung baga, once they sit na and then tinanggal na nila yung lahat ng ng notifications, disturbances, malinis na nagbaligid nila. Sinasabi na yan nila sa isip nila na they are actually working. Ako naman, ang trigger ko is that I listen to music. So, once na nakaupo na ako, 
that pop plug ko na yung head a uh, headphone ko and then I listen to music. So, usually ang music ni Ed Sheeran yung pinapakinggan ko ngayon but basically anything na ma uh, easy to listen music uh, okay na sa akin yun. So concentrated na ako. Pwede na ako mag-box sort noon. Um, ang nakaka-disrupt lang talaga sa akin kahit pag biglang tinatawag ako and then magtatanong anong lulutuin etc etc. Ayan, mawawala na naman ako sa focus. Kaya, I usually like, um, don't don't listen to anybody. Hindi ko pinapansin mo sino tumatawag sa akin. Kaya, the best way talaga is i-plug in ko yung headphone and just listen to music para hindi ako gaanong nadidistract kung may narinig akong noise. Um, hindi ko kasi pinagbabawalan yung children ko to come inside the office when I, while I work kasi istorbohin at istorbohin nila ako sisilip sila sa bintana at magtatawag na mami, mami, mami kakatok na kakatok no? so ang ginagawa ko na lang is yun na nga I, I listen to music so that's my work mode trigger and that's my concentration secret na fox knock so work na Number two is that I try to block time. Pag sinabi kong in ganitong oras, yun yung time of work ko. Like, um, yun yung, uh, yun na yun, yun yung, yung focus ko doon is work na. So, hindi na ako gagawa ng iba pang bagay. Hindi na ako tatawa yun. Dapat sa time na yun, bago, bago yung oras na yun, yung block time set, block time na yun, naka humihina ako, minum na ako ng tubig, meron ako prepared coffee, if I want coffee. Although, I, as much as possible, I don't prepare merienda. <laughs> uh, ayokong kumain while on the, sa harap, nagtatrabaho kasi yun ang una, um, pag may pagkain sa harap ko, kain ako ng kain. Siyempre, <sighs> siguro ibang topic yan, ibang lessons yung ano yung consequences on working at home and isa na doon is you will really gain weight if you don't watch it out so which is I gained weight again but anyways um I nowadays I try not to put food so basta nando lang basta I have water and then I have coffee in the morning so once na natin plan na lahat in everything um, upo na ako and then sa set of time and block na yan so for me right now I'm I'm working on uh, making myself kasi it's not because you block your time sinabi mo na yan na yung time mo sanay ka na mag work sa oras na yan you just have to like um, make yourself get used to that schedule so right now I'm still working on getting used to the schedule of 4 a.m. to 12 p.m. No, work um, it's from uh, Tuesday to Saturday for me. So, ang, ang ginagawa ko right now, um, pero hindi, o oh nga pala, even though you block time, as much as possible, every two hours, you need to stand up to drink water. So, importante sa atin na umiinom tayo ng tubig at mga nag-CCR din. So, within that block time, of course, meron akong break time. So, um, break time naman, as much as possible, limit mo 30 minutes. So, once na nasa block time of work ka, like for me, 4 to 12 hours, um, as much as possible, iset mo yung okay break ka nga, but as much as possible, wag ano, uh, wag ka nang manood muna ng YouTube, wag ka muna ng manood ng movies or lalabas para makipag-chika, makipag-kwentuhan, kasi, uh, yan, baka yung yung 30 minutes break mo magiging 2 hours, 3 hours and yung block of work mo wala so patay ang productivity natin doon you know you could do a lot of things within 8 hours kung hindi ka talaga maka, mapaka ano hindi ka mag magpapadistract so yun yung number 2 ko I'm back so napuno yung, uh, yung SD card ko <laughs> so number 3 so number 3 um, number three is you need to have a block, uh, uh, you need to have an, a work environment wherein you have the least of distraction. So, before, I, when I started out working, I used to work using my a netbook and then I work on bed because I have a netbook so I don't, I, um, I could bring it anywhere. Okay, so right now I'm using a laptop but I used to, before I had my laptop, I used to have a netbook. So, what I do is that I work on bed. So, hindi siya, um, hindi siya ideal, ideal working environment kasi unang una, 
I sleep more rather than work. So, distracting yung bed. <laughs> so, but then, meron din ako mga ibang kakilala. They work in bed and it's all cool. But, as much as possible, you need to buy your own um, comput uh, computer table and and work from there. You, you, you need to sit down para focus ka. And also, yun yung physical environment. So, um, uh, the best as of now, um, may pinaka-privacy ka at home is bedroom. Kasi, uh, usually bedroom is a place where you can sleep. <laughs> Sorry, maingay. So, again, one of the distractions. Ang hirap tanggalin yan when you're in, in a um, home environment. But anyway, um, you need to, um, yun na nga, meron kang computer table and then um, work from there. And then, in a bedroom. So, yun kami, I convert one of my my bedrooms here at home as an office. Kaya yung bahay namin ngayon is uh, wala na sala. <laughs> Naging bedroom din yung sala namin. Kasi yung isang bedroom namin ginawa na ng office. So, yun. Kaya lilipat kami. <laughs> okay? So, yun na nga. Um, it da, pero it doesn't mean na wala kang place at home to work. Like, bed mo lang talaga ang mayroon pa. Hindi ka na makapag-start working online. No, you can still work at home. Um, but, you, you aim. You aim na you kind of create a working environment where, where um, you could concentrate and ano siya, uh, as much as possible away from distraction. And, hindi lang physical yan, pati uh, online. So, virtual uh, ano ka rin, uh, virtually ready ka rin. So, as much as possible, when you're working, turn up uh, your, your personal accounts. So, para walang makapag-message sa'yo. Dapat boss mo lang ang pwedeng mag-message sa'yo. So, open all accounts like Skype, Slack, Grip, whatever it is that you're using with your, ano, project management that you're using with your client. And yun lang ang nakabukas. Huwag yung, ano, huwag yung, uh, yung personal account mo para walang hindi ka ma-distract. Nakaka-distract kasi yan. So, yan. Na, yun yung number three ko. Create a work environment wherein as much as possible, minimal yung distraction. You get distracted pa rin kasi syempre min minsan biglang may darating na bisita o kaya time to eat. You need to decide kung anong pagkain na kalutuin. Ang nga ganun hindi ko magay. Pero as much as possible, you get as much work as you can. Uh, number four, as, um, Keep your stress level at the minimum. Stress is a normal part of life. Kasi, without stress kasi... Ay, mga bata. Balik yung mga aso sa bata. Kaya may aso. Galit yung medyo aso. Ewa ko ba din pagalit siya sa mga bata. Okay, that's it, Bansit. Okay, aha. Tapos yung commercial break. <laughs> and now, back to our program. <laughs> okay, yun. So, number four is keep your stress level at minimum. Okay, pag sinabi kong uh, minimum kasi, kahit ano pang block mo ng time, kahit pa nag-headset ka na para lang hindi ka ma-distract or anything, if you are stressed talaga, um, ano ka talaga, um, hindi ka makapag-focus. So, keep your stress at minimum. So, paano mo ba keep it stress at minimum? First, you need to see na you're taking in proper nutrients inside your body. Yun pala, minsan nag stress tayo ng walang dahilan dahil kulang tayo sa nutrients. Usually, uh, kulang tayo sa magnesium. Uh, vitamin B for focus. Kaya, or, or basically, kulang tayo sa new vitals natin, like blood, no blood pressure tayo, o kaya kulang tayo sa potassium. So, minsan, stress out tayo kasi hindi na natin kaya yung usual natin nagagawa dahil mahina yung pangangatawan natin. So, always eat right, always take your vitamins, because it will help you on your stress levels. And, uh, para din mabawasin yung stress, as much as possible, tatayo tayo tayo, and do and have uh, we need to walk or mag exercise and skip up no kasi exercising um, actually secretes uh, hormones called endorphins and those are happy hormones so if we're happy we're not stressed parang feeling natin we're on top of the world so energetic tayo so 
And then also, try to keep your mind um, at peace. So, let's meditate, let's pray. So, yan, isa din yan, parang kung ang katawan natin, kailangan ng exercise, pati yung isipan natin, kailangan ng exercise. Kasi lagi na tayo nag-iisip sa work. We solve problems for our clients. And then, hindi tayo at peace. So, may stress nga naman tayo kasi we're doing more than what we can do. Um, and then, yun na nga, don't take more workload than you can work on. So, yan, guilty tayo dyan. Guilty kaming mga, ka, mga wam dyan dahil you know, we work at home, feeling natin ang haba ng oras natin na walang ginagawa. Like, out for 24 hours, 8 hours lang ba tayo magtatrabaho? Hindi. Hindi pwede yan. Feeling natin, we can work up to 16 hours, but gosh naman, mga kawams, uh, we also have life, no? So, maganda rin na yung everyday, meron tayong social life. <laughs> so, everyday, meron tayong time for social life. So, let's not work more than the suggested time, which is 8 hours, ba? And then, basically, yung ibang bansa nga, diba, may iba at, at to 5 hours lang yung work nila. So, wag tayong work mode for more than 8 hours. Ganon. So, so nakaka-stress din kasi yan. And, alam ko na, mayroon pa ako number 5 eh. <laughs> Keep your stress level at the men, uh, minimum. And, lastly, aim to, number 5, for number 5, for number 5. Aim to, ano, to make work as not work. Yun ang pinaka, pinaka maganda dyan. So, accept only workload na you like to do and you love to do. And, yeah, mahirap yan talaga. Hindi naman kasi basta-basta madali yan, diba? But, um, kahit hindi pa natin na-achieve yan ngayon, but it's really is fun if we could find something that we love to do. And, yun, um, makakapag-focus ka talaga kasi what you do is parang normal na lang. You don't even need to have some effort kasi yung, yung ginagawa mo, gusto mo talaga ng gawin. So, now, maraming kind of work naman yung one. Either you're a virtual assistant or you're, um, you have online store. Yun, kapag siguro may sarili kang business, kahit na wala ka siguro block time form of work eh, hindi mo na naisip yan because you are actually doing what you love to do. So, nakaka-focus ka there kasi meron kang ini-aim, meron kang ginugol. So, those are my five things na uh, sinasuggest. And I'm, it's also a working in progress for me. Diba? Na those are the things na I need to achieve, I need to have para I could really focus and be productive on the things that I do working at home. So, yun. Um, ang mga susunod kong video ng one weeks ko uh, is um, I would talk more about ano, meron kasi nagtanong sa akin uh, dating sudyante ko um, nagtanong siya um, paano ba mag-start or working as a virtual assistant online although nakapag-VA na daw siya before pero nai-scam daw siya paano daw maghanap ng tamang clients para hindi siya uh, takbuhan ng mga kliyente. So, yun ang susunod kong uh, i-video ko as one tips ko. So, right now, these are just um, for the first four vlogs, uh, vlogs ko, it's really just testing on my camera. Like, ano bang magandang camera? Paano bang mag-video edit? Kasi I really don't know how to video edit before I started this out. And, yeah, so I was just really trying my gadgets and, uh, you know, just, just publish something out there. Um, by the way, um, pag share ko yung mga videos ko, sinasabi ko, this is actually part of um, 100 videos challenge ko within this year. And um, I'm really setting um, uh, setting myself up for a lot of challenges for this year. Talaga kasi last year, wala akong magawa kasi I'm, I'm pregnant and really medyo maselan yung pregnancy ko. So, this year, babawi po ako. So, isa to, sinet kong challenge is yung, uh, yun na nga, uh, 100 videos. So, so far, this is my fifth video. So, uh, 95 more videos to go. <laughs> so, yun. Um, ang next ko nyan, aside from dun sa yun na nga, um, I'm going to talk about how to, uh, how to get started working online and then how to find clients. Siguro, mga two videos mga, ano yan, a series, a couple of videos yan, a series of videos, kasi uh, it's not that easy to, uh, I'll give more 
details kung paano ka talaga makapag-start and paano ka maghahanap ng matinong client. So, siguro five hanggang five parts, maximum na yung five video parts. So, hopefully, masagasaan ko yung ano na yan within one video. Uh, and also, upcoming sa mga videos ko, yung, yung ikakover ko kung yung paglilipat namin yan, kasi maglilipat kami. By next week, mag start na kami mag-empake yung pake yan. Um, I'll just have to know kailan matapos yung mga bahay para magbasimulan ko na. And then, next videos then is, by the way, starting Monday, kami, yung ka-team ko sa Kickstart Virtual Assistants, we uh, come up with a challenge. So, challenge namin lahat ang mga sarili namin na mag, mag 100 push-up a day. So, gaya ng binabanggit ko here, talagang I gained weight after, even before ako nabuntis. And lalo na after ako nabuntis, talagang I totally gained a lot of weight. Dumoble ako. So, uh, challenge ko sarili ko, dinamay ko ang aking katim. Siguro, I'll, I'm not going to share the videos that they're gonna share unless meron silang um, uh, meron ako approval from them, but I'll certainly will share my videos. So, um, I'll, I'll share to you yung, yung ano bang ginagawa ko, uh, yung mga push-up challenges ko, and kung, kung effective ba. So, yun, I'm also gonna share that. So, those are the things that you can watch out in the future. Uh, watch out for my videos here. So, please, please subscribe if you want to, if you like those content, please subscribe. And if you want more content from me, sa so tingin mo I could share, please comment below where I could prepare videos for that. And please don't forget to like and share the videos. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.